Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Kevin Mitchell. I'm the executive chef at the Propio State Winery. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a lamb-based dish with a butternut squash puree, and we're gonna finish it off with a pancetta Dijon cream sauce. So first, let's get started. We're gonna grab our butternut squash, and we'll get right into that. We're going to start off by cutting off both ends, and then we're gonna cut it right down the center. Then going to take our spoon, we're gonna hollow the innards. We're gonna get rid of the, the stem, the seeds, all the stuff that's not gonna be so good when we go to bake it off. Make sure you get off the inner walls. Okay. We have our baking tray. Uh, we then place both pieces of squash uh, on top. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of uh, sea salt to garnish. Be very heavy when you go to season it. Uh, after that, we're then going to grab our pepper and we'll garnish that ever so lightly. Um, we have a little bit of sugar, which we're going to add to it, not too heavy. We want to add a little bit of sweetness to it. After that, and yes, I have heavy hands, I like to go heavy on the butter just to add that fat as flavor aspect. Um, once that's done, uh, you're then going to set your oven to 400 and place it in there for one hour and 15 minutes. We're now going to get into our roasted garlic. So for this, I take my serrated knife, go near the top just like so, right down one smooth action. You want to have it so the garlic's exposed like this. Some people wrap it in tin foil, they wrap it in parchment. Me personally, I don't. So what we want to do after our garlic is sliced, we're going to grab our baking tray. Take that guy, smack dab on there. Take our extra virgin olive oil, place it on top, make sure you're very generous with it. After that, take a little bit of sea salt, put it on the top. And then 20 minutes before our butternut squash is ready to go, we're then going to place that in the oven. Now we're on to the cream sauce. I've got my pancetta here. I'm gonna cut it like so. Nice, thin cuts. After that's cut, we're gonna cut it again into nice little miniature cubes. After we have that all cut, we're gonna get our pan, get it up to temp. Take your pancetta that you just cut, toss it right in there. After that, we're then going to take our rosemary and then take from the tip of the spine and push all the way down so you get everything. After that, you're then going to cut. Try to go as fine as you can. Once your pancetta starts to sweat a little bit, uh, you're then going to want to toss in your rosemary and butter. Once all your butter has been melted, toss in a little bit of beer. Let that blend in nicely. After that, and your 35% cream. Let that sink in, blend it in. Let that cook for a little bit. Take roughly about a tablespoon and add in your Dijon. Take a little bit of your flour, add that in. Preferably roughly around two tablespoons of flour. We'll gradually add that in as we go. Take your whisk, make sure that the flour blends in nicely with your cream and butter. Once again, repeat the process until it gets to this nice, thicker state. Perfect. After that, remove your sauce from the heat. I thought this would be nice to experiment with the lamb because the lamb is so flavorful on its own. And then you're adding this rich, creamy complexity to it, which really ties in and like, to me, that goes hand in hand. The roasted garlic we had in the oven, we're gonna take that. We're going to squeeze it into our blender, like so, and try to get as much as you can of the roasted garlic out. Perfect. After that, take your butternut squash, grab a fork, spoon, whatever you have handy just scoop all of that in there. Try not to get the skin in there. Try to do nothing what I said. <laughs> so we have our roasted garlic in our uh, food processor. I've got our butternut squash. We're then going to take it and place it all in there. 
cubes in there. Distribute it around. Take about two to three cubes of butter, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and then take your lid, place it on top, and then puree. Once again, once you've pureed, you're looking for this type of consistency right here. Last but not least, we have our rack of lamb. I've used an Australian fresh cut. Today, we're going to just cut right in between the bones like so. I've got a serrated knife. I find that's the best way to just get in, make a smooth transitional cut down like this, and then pull across. We're looking for this consistency. This is perfect. Um, we've got our pan up to temp. We're gonna do this for the entire rack. So After that, we're gonna take our oil, toss it in. We're gonna place it in. Take our salt. Pepper. So right now I'm gonna go and clip them. And finally, we get into the plating. So we have our pureed butternut squash. Just take a big dollop like so, place it on your plate. And then with the back end of your spoon, you're then going to graze it across the plate like so. After that, we're then going to take our lamb chops and try, if you can, stagger them up so they're leaning on top of each other, like so. We're then going to take our Dijon pancetta sauce and gently drape it over top of the lamb just like this. We're then going to take some onion microgreens and just drape it right across the finished product. And there you have it, a pancetta Dijon cream sauce with lamb chop and roasted garlic butternut squash puree. So please enjoy guys. I look forward for the next time I cook for you. Thank you.